came down to start the car up. Look. Yeah. That's right. They came and raided those African people house just a minute ago. We got about three people in the cars over there. They came out that house right there. I came down to start up the van. And that's what I saw. They got guns up. See them over there? Can you see that for? They got rifles and shit. They gonna rob me with trouble. That girl from over there. Living inside. These are it's the FBI. Of all ages over they pulling in. Look, they got the whole place surrounded the over here. The FBI. They got rifles and stuff. Look, they pulling up in unmarked cars, going in that African house over there. They took a bunch of them out, took them over there, and put them in the cars, like in the parking lot back there. And they still coming in and out of there. I wonder what's going on. I'm so nosy. Well, I'm doing. They keep coming out with people. They took two little, the two little girls that be going to school and shit. Something happened in there. I don't know. We gonna find out. Maybe you call Lou. Lou, Lou gonna know something in a little while. Those are people. You can see the jacket. Look at the jacket. FBI. That's not the police. It's the FBI. Right there. They're ready to downsize to a tiny home right by their place of work, along with Moss's two teenage children. We own a rafting company and a beautiful piece of property here on the Nolichucky River. Matt and I have been thinking about moving into a tiny home for over a year now. But Look at the housing, guys. About how everything's going to fit in such a small space. Four of us moving into a tiny house. Okay, guys, so the day has passed, so I'm just getting back home, okay? So got the maintenance man coming here working on our heating situation. Our thermostat stack has died. So it's just been a really, really emotional and intense day, okay? So again, I woke up this morning. You guys saw the video. I, I'm just uh, editing the video now. So since then, I found out. Now, and I posted it from the, from the maintenance man. Apparently, so, uh, some type of terrorist or terroristic activity okay, is going on over there. And the FBI this came and got the these people. Line. Wow. It's so quiet here. Uh, guys, I do not live in a loud, noisy, ghetto neighborhood. It just don't happen around here. After, even in the summertime, after about... 10 o'clock at night, it gets quiet. It's quiet. You can fall asleep on a lawn. Okay, so whew, that's crazy. I don't know what's going on, but I've been watching the news, trying to figure out some more information, but we'll see. And welcome back to the channel. So now I'm home. This is just an eventful day, guys. I want to share with y'all some of my drama. <laughs> so I come home. And it's just been so much going on lately here with YouTube and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the channel right there. And this is what's going on. Yeah, so they're they gonna be working on this thing for a couple of minutes. Uh, trying to put together a new thermostat up here or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get back to that. Now, back to the video. Alright, let's go. Tonight, he's the pastor. She's the pastor's wife, but... Wait a minute. Hold the phone, Jesus. Let me see if I got this. They're living a double life. Your wife sitting there. And over here is your mistress. Well, that's supposed to be like this. A marriage on the brink. Why would a woman, as sweet as she is, want to be with a man who's been with 20 other women? The ultimate betrayal. What are you afraid is gonna happen? I'm gonna lose my wife forever. Let it out. Let it out. Let yeah, I'm sorry. I'm jumping around all over the place. I'm just trying to put together a little quick video, right? So, like, yeah, we got a new thermostat. This one is way better than what it was before. It's more easier. 
setting the controls and stuff. The other one been there since we've been here. So, yeah, that's cute. So I want to show you guys something else here. So my grandson's birthday was the other day. And uh, so we got some stuff and everything. But then while I was in Walmart, you know, just walking through Walmart. I walks in there and I runs into this guy. Uh, RC car, remote control car. So, he just turned four. This is too grown for him. I didn't know, I just grabbed it. It says six, pu six plus on the box. And what made me really look at it was this, y'all. They had this thing for 14 bucks, okay? 14 bucks, the normal price was, uh, what is it again? Oh my gosh. The normal price is 39, there you go, 39. And they had it for 14 bucks in the clearance section. So I get it and I go up to the counter to pay for it. And they tell me, sir, uh, your, t your total is, is like 40 something dollars. I'm like, what do you mean? He says, well, this is such and such. I think I had some snacks or something for, for boss lady. And I'm like, well, okay, well, I'm someone to sell for anyway. Long and short of I go back, get a manager. And they had to give it to me for $14. You know, like they had, somebody had put it on the wrong shelf and had put um, clearance labels on it. So y'all guys know I done powered it up and I done played with it for a minute. I got to go back and get a, get something more age appropriate for him. But then again, he, I don't know, he can go forward and backwards. What y'all think? <laughs> He's four years old. <laughs> He like balloons. When you bring him a gift, and he want the balloons more than he want the bag with the gift. So y'all know what I'm talking about. So we'll see. So. All right, guys. So that's it. I hope I, I entertained y'all. That was pretty good. That's how my day started. I wake up, go down to warm up the van before I go to work. FBI out there. They're doing a raid on some neighbor's house. And nothing like that has ever, ever, ever happened. The, the police department barely even come in here. It's just a nice, quiet uh, development, nice and quiet, you know, so work was good. Um, physically, I'm feeling a lot better. You know, at night, I still grab a little, get a little cold and congestion and stuff like that. But by the time morning comes, it usually passes. You know, everything is going along just fine. I uh, post a couple of videos for members only and I also put a little video in there for the rest of you guys to check out. Um, I'm Benjamin. I'm living my best life. That's all I can say, right? So you guys, listen, I'm going to let you all go. Um, I need to get some dinner started around here and uh, get ready for boss lady to come on in. We go through our afternoon routine. So without any further ado, guys, thanks again for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, Van Life the Black Pearl, Benjamin living his best life. And you guys have a great day. And remember, you a star. You shine so brightly. Each and every one of you live your very best life. Until our next video, shalom.